Hey guys, it's Scott at Build Across, and today I'm going to show you how I paint our fall truck paint by line kit. In every kit, you're going to receive the cutout. The one I'm painting right now is 12 inches, but of course, I would recommend 18 to 21 for a door hanger. Um, all the kits are going to receive a cutout, a pack of assorted brushes. It um, includes 10 different brushes, which is really awesome because I actually really like the quality of these brushes. A Sharpie brush stroke marker, um, assorted paints and also a little detailed step-by-step -step guideline. And actually on the second page of this guideline, there is a outline of this cutout and it's numbered and the numbers represent a color. So you can actually just paint it that way if you want to. It's very self-explanatory and easy. Um, but I also have this video for you guys to follow along with. And of course, if you have any questions, you can just send us a message or write it below in the comments and we will be happy to help you out however we can. I've gone in first with a red and base coated the truck. And of course, you guys are welcome to use any of the colors uh, provided in the kit for the truck if you want to change it up. Um, I chose red because I really like uh, red for a fall truck. Um, and I'm just using the largest brush in the packet. But of course, you can use whatever brushes you feel most comfortable with throughout this. Um, the base coating brushes, you don't have to be too particular. It's really just based on personal preference. Um, and I would also recommend that you just go in with a second coat wherever you feel like it's needed. Um, I did not do a second coat on this red. I felt like it covered fine. But later on, I will go in and do a second coat on like the white. Um, but that'll just be based on a uh, personal preference because it'll also depend on how thick you put the paint on. Um, so you can just decide that later on um, before you're finished painting. I'm going in now with the light gray and I'm painting the bumper and also the windshield. And um, there's a lot of different little details around here. So as you can tell, um, sometimes I'll get um, outside the lines and I'm actually not really worried about that. I'm not worried too much about staying inside the lines and you'll kind of be able to tell that in the way that I paint um, because we'll be going back over with several different layers of paint and we'll also be outlining which you'll clean everything up. Um, so it's just easier to not have to worry too much about um, getting outside the lines. I'm going in now with this orange color for the pumpkin. And as you can see, it's kind of going on a little bit opaque. So I'll, um, not opaque, the opposite of opaque. So I'll actually be going in and doing a second coat on that as well in a minute here. And as you can tell, I'm just kind of looking at that little guideline I have that uh, really helps to be able to go back and look at that. And as you can tell, I forgot to do these little rear view mirrors, so I'm going to touch those up real quick. And now I'm going to go in with my yellow and I'm going to paint the leaves on the sunflower. Next, I'm going to go in with the green color provided in the kit, and I'm going to paint all the leaves and this vine here on the pumpkins, and I'm also going to paint the stem on the sunflowers. Again, these are kind of detailed, so you don't have to worry if you get outside the lines a little bit because, like I said, we'll be going in later with my Sharpie brush stroke marker and outline and everything. So if you make a little mistake, that's going to going to gonna gonna kind of clean it up so you don't have to worry too much about it all right just going in and finishing that last leaf there and now I'm going to go in with my white and paint the cotton is one reason that these paint by lines are so incredible um, because it's just as you can tell this is a more detailed door hanger and you know you're able to do it with such ease because you don't have to freehand anything um, everything's just here for you um, it really makes everything so easy I'm going in now with this chocolate brown color and I'm going to paint the stem and I'm also going to paint the stem on the cotton and the center of the sunflowers
Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of black and paint the tires. And then after that step, my product will be completely base coated and I'm gonna allow everything to dry. It's a very important step that you stop and allow everything to dry before you go in with a Sharpie brush stroke marker, which I'm going in with now. And this will be provided in your paint kit. I'm just going in and outlining everything. I'm just following the lines that are etched into the cutout. It makes it very easy. And you have a lot of control over this marker, which is one reason we provide them in the kits because I use them on a daily basis and it has really um, just made these products so much easier to paint um, and you can reuse this marker multiple times as long as you make sure that you do not um, let it get wet paint on it and actually the paint that's provided in this kit you'll be able to use multiple times too um, and also the brushes because you won't use all of this paint and as long as you make sure that you uh, wash your brushes out with a little bit of soap and water um, they will be reusable And as I'm doing this little outlining, I like to move the product around with me. It just makes it a little bit easier if you're able to reach um, and not have to reach over the product and get your hand um, all over it. You have more control when it's closer to you. So that's a little step that I like to take just to um, make everything a little bit more precise. Now I'm gonna go in with my number four round brush that is provided in the kit and some of my white paint and I'm gonna highlight everything to brighten it up. This step is optional. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, I would recommend to skip it, um, but it really just brightens everything up so I like to do it. Um, whenever I'm highlighting, I like to just follow the natural curves of the cutout. Um, it kind of helps to give it that uniformed look. And then after that, I'm done. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and enjoy these paint kits and have a great day.